name's Stephen Mulhern and this is Tricky TV, the show which makes people shout... Oh, laugh... <laughs> and get totally confused. <laughs> no way. No, no, no. Here's what's coming up on today's show. Which cup is the coin under? See if you can work it out in today's Beat the Cheat. We predict a right in a science lab in another wicked wind-up. And do you think I can escape from this locked box before a tank smashes me to pieces? Keep watching to find out. Do you know, it's going to be one top tricky show. And with so much in it, we'd better get started. Now, for the first trick, I do need to use someone's ring. Now, oh, that's Andy. OK, watch. I thread the ring onto the elastic band like this. We're going to try and defy gravity. Keep your eye on the ring. Here we go. Can you see that? It's actually climbing up the elastic band. It's amazing. Certainly amazed this lot. Hmm. How's it moving? They're all amazed, and you'll find out how to do this cool trick later. Great scientists discover things through trial and error. Sometimes their experiments work. And sometimes they don't. The victims of today's Wicked Wind-Up are going to find this out the hard way because we bring some experiments that are going to go badly wrong. Now, this is the brilliant Dr. Hal Sosoboski. Now, he works at the Brighton University and he's going to help us out in today's Wicked Wind-Up. There I am being Dr. Hal's assistant, Dave. I'm the idiot in the shower cap. All our victims have come from their school to learn about chemistry. And everyone in the class have been asked to write a scientific word in invisible ink. But keep an eye on this pair because I'm going to swap their invisible ink word for one of my own. Group one, who are in on the joke, write lithium. Oh, how about wow. that then? Fantastic. Yeah. OK, lithium. Group two are also in oh. on it, and they write Fantastic. carbon. Carbon. What about that then? Secret invisible writing. Now it's our victim's turn. Barium. That's that was one. barium. Right, ready? Bum. What happened to the A and the R and the I and the U and the M? It's a bit rude, isn't it? They know I've done something, <laughs> but I'm not saying a word. Um, I think the middle letters must have tried out. Should we, should we move on? Bring balloons. Okay, that so let's that get the balloons purpose. out. There's your balloon. Thank you very much. Okay, let's clear the depth of the previous purpose. experiment and we'll be moving the balloon down. Yes. We're going to do. It's time for the next experiment. Our second pair think the balloons are sprayed with a fireproof liquid, which means when you hold a flame to the balloon, it won't burst. But in fact, I, disguised as Dave, have filled the balloon with a highly explosive gas. OK. Arms length, please. So just move the splint forward rather than moving yourself forward when you're ready. When he touches it, start counting. Ready? Go on, touch it against it. I'm... I'm... I 
think I filled it up with the wrong gas. <sighs> Which cylinder did you use, please? Black one, black one. I told you, the red, the red. Let's move on. Can we tell me what it is? I think he's impressed. Now, I decide to confess to Dr. Hal what I've been up to. Uh, uh, I did that on purpose. On purpose? Uh huh. Can we just go and check the cylinders, please? I'll put in the exploding gas. Exploding gas? For a laugh. Can we just. Come on, can we just. So, Hal now pretends to take me away from the science lab and give me a good telling off. You're an idiot! They're all looking at each other nervously. Poor Dave. Everyone happy with that? Now, they set up the next experiment too, which involves putting tablets in water to see how they'll dissolve. But these are fizzy sweets, and when mixed with fizzy lemonade, you can bet there's going to be an eruption. Watch this. <laughs> Let's see that eruption again. It goes everywhere, and the worst thing is, it's sticky lemonade. Time to tell this girl that she's been part of a wicked wind-up. You're going to be on Tricky TV. <laughs> you're going to be on Tricky TV and you're going to be... Because it's a wicked wind-up, you see. What's your name again? Uh, Tallulah. Nice to meet you. I'm Stephen. Uh, hi. Oh, hi! <laughs> <laughs> so the next time you're in a science class, stay away from the idiot in the shower cap. Tricky TV! I love the countryside, the open spaces, the fresh air, and the wonderful smell of... That's dirty! Do you know, the cows that live in that barn, quite frankly, stink. Well, the great thing about doing magic is anything you don't like, you can just make completely disappear. Now you see it? Now you're done. And it wasn't a camera trick. Now, if you want to know where the barn went, make sure you come back in a minute and I'll tell you. Still to come, which cup is the coin under? See if you can work it out later in Beat the Cheat. In the secret circle, I'll show you how to do the floating ring trick. It's a winner. And stand by for an amazing escapology trick. Oh, my goodness, Just a moment ago, you saw me make a barn full of not-so-fragrant cows vanish. So where's the barn now? Let's go and find out. First thing you should know is I had some help from two of the Tricky team. We've got Matt and we've got Chris. And we've carefully camouflaged him from behind. Look at that. Did it all myself. And what about the barn? Well, the barn wasn't a whole barn. It was just the front of a barn. We've camouflaged the back. But from the front, you would think it was a real barn, wouldn't you? Let's take another look. From this angle and distance, the barn looks real. But behind it, the guys are just holding up a flat piece of scenery. I hold my hand up, they push it to the ground and jump down too. And because of the long grass, you couldn't see them or the barn. So there you have it. We just made a barn vanish using tricky camouflage. I thought that worked rather well, Keith. Yeah? Where is everyone? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> if you see someone offering the chance to win some easy money, there's probably a con involved. But if you know some of their secrets, then you can beat the cheat. 
OK, we've got a little challenge for you, OK? It's with, uh, with a few cups. So we've got one, two, three cups. Inside this cup here, have a little look at home. There is a coin. Now, I'm going to place this down here, the coin down there. All you've got to do is try and work out which one has got the coin in. Which one do you think? You have a go. That one? No. Somebody else have a go. 50 50 choice. That one? No. Oh, no. What a shame. Okay. Well, let's try again. Let's try again. All right. Now, let me uh, put the coin back in. Okay. We're back. So, three cups. One, two, three. Don't forget this one with the coin in. You can see that at home again. Look, there's the coin. That goes inside the middle. Okay. Keep your eye on it. Oh, look, he's following it. Look. Ooh. Which one has got a coin in? You know? Go on. No! Look at his face! Look, he can't believe it! Do you think you know? Yeah. Which one is it then? That one! Are you sure? Yeah. Pick it up and have a look, man. No! Oh, no. How much is inside there? Do be. Yes! OK, watch. That's the money cup. That's the one to keep your eye on. Uh, what's your name? Sapphire. Sapphire, keep your eye on the cups. I'm going to mix them up as well. Keep your eye on it. Which one do you think the coin is under? Do you know, they're never going to find the coin. And there's a very good reason for that. Look, is it there? No. <laughs> the cheat will show you three cups. One, two, and the third one's got a coin in it, like that. What the cheat doesn't tell you is this coin is actually stuck to the bottom of the cup using a piece of thread, like that. You see, this allows the cheat to turn all the cups face down mix them up, and whichever one you pick, he'll say, no, it's not there, by lifting up the cup like that. How tricky! You can never win. But now you can, because you know the secret. So you can beat the cheat. They practice day and night to perfect their magic. They aim to be the best. They're the future of magic. These are the Young Magicians. This is Kev, and he's a master when it comes to card tricks. I'm going to show you a trick with four kings. Now watch closely, because the four kings are all face up. But using magic and a bit of a shake, Kev can turn one face down. Two face up now, and two face down. Only one to go. Now four kings face down. Remember, they were kings, but now they're aces. Nicely done, Kev. Earlier on, we showed you a great trick where a ring moves by magic. Sorry, is it me or is that, is that moving? Is that moving? <laughs> No way. No, no, no. Oh my god, it's moving. Wow. It has to be from inside. It's amazing. Four. How'd you do that then? Are you ready to learn the secret to this brilliant trick? <coughs> now, I'm not talking to you, Keith. Are you ready? Good stuff. Here we go then. First of all, you need, of course, an elastic band, and you want to cut this in half or you could just snap it so you've got a long piece like that and get yourself a ring. Now, it could be your ring you use or better still, borrow it off the person that you're going to do the trick on. Now, one of the main secrets is you need to gather up some of the elastic like this and hold it in your hand. Then you thread the ring onto the elastic like this and just tilt the ring down towards that hand and now stretch the elastic, okay? Now slowly release the grip of the hand which has the extra band in this one here, okay? Slowly release it and the ring holds on to the band which makes it look as though it's climbing up the rubber band. The ring isn't moving at all actually. You're just letting the excess band slide through your fingers. Here are a few tricky tips for you. Now first of all, to make it more effective, make sure you keep your hand still when the ring is climbing up the band. Another thing is, it's very important not to have any marks on the band because they will climb with the ring and that will blow the secret. 
Another thought is to make sure that you keep your hand closed around the excess band, because if you don't, your friends will see that getting shorter, and that will look silly. And finally, a nice little tip is to lick your finger and thumb, because that makes the band slide through your fingers very easily like that, you see. So there you have it. You now know the secret, so why don't you try it out on your friends? And you are now part of the Secret Circle. Trick game. As you know, on Tricky TV, we do some small tricks. We do some big tricks. But today, with the help of my good friend, Holly Willoughby. Hello. Who's <laughs> just crawled yeah. across the floor. <laughs> we're going to do a monster trick. Yes. Are you what ready? You're no, that's true. To do. You've got an easy gig. Like, yeah. Yeah. Come with me. Here we have a World War II tank. That is the real thing. And we've got some fans of Tricky TV who are going to watch this death-defying escape because that is what we're going to attempt. Are you all all right? Yeah! Good stuff. If you want to take your position over there, that's good. Now, this is the table of doom. And what I'm going to do is literally just lie down here whilst the Tricky boys come into position, fellas, are going to chain me. To, I'll tell you what, let me take this off just for safety. Yeah, I'll check it down here. That's it, good. Right. I don't like this. Chain me onto the table. That's just good. Checking. That's it. That's solid. I, I promise. Just checking because they can't do that. I can. I wouldn't. Ooh, <laughs> I wouldn't cheat. Well, I don't want you to cheat. Right now, this is serious now because these are real chains, and uh, Matt here for the Triggy team is locking the padlock so it can't be undone. Um, then what's going to happen is um, I'm going to be locked inside a box. And in a moment, the tank is going to hurtle towards the table. I need to escape in time to save the table being crushed and, of course, me. If I do feel at any time I need the whole thing to stop and the tank to stop as well, I'll just pull this. And then we will stop the whole thing for safety. Holly, can you take over, please? Yeah. So he's obviously got that panic alarm on him. That noise we do not want to hear at any moment because that means something awful has happened. Now, as you remember, Stephen is inside this. He's padlocked to the table. And now the boys have padlocked him with these very heavy, juicy padlocks inside this box. Stephen has to escape before he gets hit by this monster chank right here. So, fellas, are we ready? OK, we're going to remove the table and we're going to bring it in line with the chank so that when the tank does move towards it, it will be able to hit it, which I hope when that happens, Stephen will not be anywhere near. Okay. Stephen, are you all right in there? Yeah, no, I'm fine, I'm fine. We're just moving you over to in front of the tank, okay? Okay. Right, so the table's in position. You can see Stephen is still inside. He's not allowed to... He's doing a little wiggle there. He's not allowed at any moment to try and escape now. He can only start his escape when the tank starts hurtling towards him. Look, there's nothing under here. There's no room. If he tries to get out now, we will see him. So, Stephen's ready. The tank is going to back up. If you would, Steve, that's our driver inside the tank. It's always a slightly nervous moment. You don't know whether he's got that thing in reverse or forward. OK. So remember, Stephen, at any moment, you've got that alarm, OK? You just ring that and we'll stop the whole thing. No, I will. Thanks. OK? Right. When that tank is in position, he can start his escape. That tank travels about 40 miles per hour. So, Stephen, you've got about 20 seconds to get out, OK? Right, he's still wiggling. Yeah, everything's still in place. OK. Tank's in position. Here we go. Good luck, Magic. Right. OK, guys, here we go. Three, two, one, go! Oh, Stephen, good luck. Stephen, I'm going to leave you now, OK? Right, guys, just hope. Fingers crossed, everything. OK, the tank's coming towards him now. What's going to happen? The alarm's going up! <laughs> Oh, no, guys, I thought it was happened. Oh. No! <laughs> no! 
<laughs> Look at your face! Don't you ever, ever do that! <laughs> and their face! I thought we thought that was you! <laughs> I'll tell you what. Come down here! I will not come down there. You come down here now! I will not come down there right, now! Well, I'm going to come up and get you. Where's the door? <laughs> Where's the door? <laughs> Let's take a look at what's coming up next time on Tricky TV. I hate you! I'll show you how to do an amazing trick using a mobile phone. Oh, God. God, how did you do that? We'll reveal the secret behind a fantastic trick so you can beat the cheat. And how would your mum react if the Tricky Team turn up on her doorstep? <laughs> there you go, that is all coming up next time. Do you know, it's been a great show today. Thanks for coming on. It's been a pleasure, thank it's you. It's been great. <laughs> but do you know, things don't always go according to plan, do they? <laughs> no, they don't. <laughs> no, they don't. Take a look at this and you'll see what I mean. <laughs> it's so... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. One Q. <cue. laughs> <Hang on. laughs> no, put it Q, me. Let me just go. Can I just try and go for it? Here we go. Trap. <laughs>